Oh my gosh. These settings are literally aimbot, bro. Easy like that. And easy like that. You get me? Oh. Don't skip, guys. You guys already read the title. You know that you're getting the best settings for aimbot and fast edits in Fortnite Battle Royale. Per usual in these videos, I always add a secret trick within the video. Now, in today's video, I have a secret sensitivity trick. This trick enhances your aim assist, which basically makes you have aimbot, makes you a faster editor and more consistent editor, and it makes you a faster and more consistent builder. So I will be sharing that trick somewhere within this video. Not at the end and not at the start. Somewhere within this video, I'm going to be showing you that secret trick. So make sure to watch to the end. Every couple of kills or so, I'm going to show you a new page of these brand new updated best settings for Fortnite Battle Royale. So by the end of the video, you're going to have all of the settings. Make sure to watch to the end so you get all the settings. Subscribe and like. <laughs> Like the video right now if you brushed your teeth this morning. Like, bro, if you're not liking the video right now, you're literally gross. Okay, guys, these, I have the best settings here, guys. Literally the best settings in the world. And the secret setting, guys, like, you're going to feel like such an idiot when I tell it to you guys because I didn't even know about this. And, and the secret setting has been in the game for, like, three years and I've only just found out about it. Watch this, guys. <laughs> How's he not dead? There we are. Someone's got to get nose coats here, guys. Oh what did I say? <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, these settings are literally aimbot, bro. Literally aimbot. Like that, yeah. Easy like that, and easy like that. You get me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. And like, all right, not even like that, but yeah, boy. Okay, what loot have we got now? Nice, nice. We've got pretty good loot. My guy definitely tried it. It didn't go very well for him, but he tried it. On, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, get absolutely destroyed, kid. Oh my gosh. Wow. That that is bro, these settings are crazy. Oh my gosh, we got some good loot. Woohoo! Oh, get the Javada building. I'm actually on fire. Another vibes. Soon it will be a 1v1. Oh, my bad.
How did you? That's just not possible. You know these settings for aimbot are absolutely insane. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here right now to teach you that secret aimbot, fast edits and fast build strip. It's really, really simple. So what you want to do is you want to go to your settings box here. You do it in game as well. And you want to go over to the settings box with the controller in front of you. This is where all your sensitivity and dead zone options are. And basically what you want to do, you want to select use advanced options off if you already have it on. What many people didn't know, and it's been in the game for like three years and I still didn't know, is actually these sensitivities here still affect your sensitivity even if use advanced options is on. I know it's super duper funny, but my friend said it to me the other day, guys, he said to me, Faze, did you know that if you actually have your look sensitivity and your aim sensitivity, um, your grayed out aim sensitivities, you know, right here they're grayed out, they actually still affect your um, sensitivity even if they're grayed out. They're grayed out here, but they still affect my sensitivity even if they are grayed out. So, a secret aimbot trick and a secret trick is basically mine was on 5.8, so my aim, my aim down sight speed was super fast, my look sensitivity was um, very different to my aim sensitivity. So what you can do is you can make them both like the same number um for more consistency guys because obviously it's throwing you it's, it threw it threw me off and i'm actually so much better and more consistent now that it's both five and five so if you guys want to have like more consistent and like things like that more consistent builds and edit your aim and you can just like mess around with these look sensitivity and aim down sensitivity because these actually still affect your um your sensitivity which i never knew before guys so these still affect your sensitivity um yeah, so make sure when you are copying the YouTube sensitivity down, you actually copy that sensitivity, which is great out as well as everything else. Because I never knew that, guys. And, um, so yeah. Oh. Ah! Oh! <laughs> these settings are crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, bear with me. Some of these settings are quite similar to my last video settings. However, these settings are different. They're similar, but different. So let's go through them together right now, guys. Controller auto run when it's off. Build immediate build. Build immediately build a pro as on. Guide hold time at 0 0.1 to 0. Reset camera axes as pit and vibration as off, guys. Uh, moving down to the sensitivity, we want 2.1 and 2.1 on the edit and build my sensitivities. And then we want to use advanced options as on. Look horizontal speed at 72% and look vertical speed at 72%. 0%, 0%, 0, 0, 0 seconds and off. We want the ADS sensitivity to be 33, 33 and everything else to be 0. And then we want our sensitivity input curve to be exponential and our aim assist strength to be 100%. Now, guys, why am I doing exponential in this video? Now, you guys know that I actually like linear for aiming. But there's something wrong with linear. And that is you can't build very well with linear, in my opinion. Not as good as you can with exponential, at least anyway. And all of my recent videos have been linear settings. I've been doing linear aimbot settings videos for you guys. In today's video, I wanted to do exponential. Exponential is the best for your consistency with your building, your editing, and your aimbot. And it's best across the board, in my opinion, instead of linear. If you are a linear player, give exponential a go. Just because Faceway uses linear doesn't mean you have to. They're still really good exponential players that are professional players that are winning money in cash cups. Give it a go. If it's not your cup of tea after a couple games or a couple hours of playing, then you can go back to linear. But these are the best. Copy them down. Give them a go. If they're not good for you, then if they're no good for you, make sure to subscribe, like, and turn the notification bell on because I'm always uploading new linear aim videos and new exponential videos if you're an exponential player. I'm always uploading new, uploading new videos. Also, you can look at the most recent couple of videos on my channel and you can see some linear aimbot settings there. Moving a little bit down, we're on the left and the right settings are both at 5%. I've got enabled for controller at 1%. This guy definitely used one of my aimbot settings videos. Only. One of these people think they can do the game, bro. One of these guys is using aimbot settings. Oh my god. I've switched to a realistic PvP free for all map. Just because I think this gets the most action. Oh my gosh. Here are the game settings, guys. We want Europe, language, as you know, whatever language you speak. Google Sprint off, auto windows on, hold jump. These are pretty self country. I'm just going to slowly go through them, guys. So you guys can copy them down, but I'm not really going to explain any of these settings to you guys because they're pretty self country. They literally say what they do. Um, so yeah, these are, these are what I use. Um, these are quite optimum. Optimum. Is that the word? Yeah. And um, yeah. 
Okay, so these are my hard to go 95 and everything on except for the bottom option as off. I'd keep this between 90 and 100 percent And moving to the right to the audio options. These are my audio options. I'm gonna show you them both in one. Bam bam bam. Bam bam bam. 